guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a drugstore, completely drugstore related video. I know you guys love drugstore makeup just as much as I do. The best part about drugstore makeup is not only is it affordable, but it's easily accessible. This video is going to contain my must-have current drugstore favorite products, but they're all in the drugstore. You don't have to go online. You can go to Ulta, you can go to CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, and you will find each and every one of these products. So if you're interested in finding out what they are, then please just keep watching. So I thought I would start with the face first, and the first product that I apply would be primer. And this one from Maybelline, the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, is one of my absolute favorite go-tos because it diminishes any fine lines, wrinkles, any pores. It kind of blurs them, fills them, vanishes them. I believe this is $6.99. I know it's $6.99 at Ulta. It's comparable to the pore filling product, Professional by Benefit, or the Smashbox Primer, which I actually don't like that one. I think that one is close to $40, and it kind of balls up on my face. This one gets the job done and the packaging is adorable, feels great on my skin, doesn't clog any pores, doesn't break me out, probably on my third bottle by now. I just love it so much. So next up for face, I actually have two foundations. They're both newer finds and I am loving both of them. So going in with this one first, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in light medium, which is referred to as soft beige. This foundation goes on your skin as if you were applying a second layer of skin. It dries really quickly, so I would advise you working in smaller sections. I tend to do half of my face, blend it all out, and then do the other side. But once it dries, it sets, it locks into place, and I feel like your skin looks so natural, so flawless, and so incredibly smooth. It's almost like you're painting your face, but it's not heavy, it's not cakey. I feel like your skin can breathe through it, but you have no texture, you're just... You're just left with really soft, beautiful, glowing skin. I love this foundation. The only thing I don't like about it is that it does smell a little bit like paint as you're applying it. It's kind of a strong scent. But once it dries down, it goes away. And it also doesn't give you any photo flashbacks. So when you're taking photos, you're not gonna get that white cast on your face. It goes on lightweight feels lightweight, but it gives you that nice, medium to buildable, really even coverage. I'm really impressed with this. This is a $5.99 foundation, I believe. I picked this one up at think CVS and I have been loving this foundation for the last couple of months and it works well in the summertime too so it does a good job dealing with the hotter temperatures and it doesn't really separate or melt or anything like that. I do recommend you're checking out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. If you're looking for something that's going to give you that nice coverage but not feel cakey, not look heavy or just very makeup-y, it just looks a lot more natural and flawless for under six dollars, it's definitely worth looking into. And then this next foundation, I had to mention it, actually it was almost like a last minute thing because I already had my little box set up for this video and I threw this one in and it's the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. This is for oily skin. I am in the shade light slash medium and I've been wearing this one for a while but not every single day and when I wore it this past weekend, I was running errands, I was doing groceries, I was going to Target, I was taking the dog to get her nails trimmed, things like that and my face didn't melt off and it was over 90 degrees, it was super humid, super hot and my makeup looked as beautiful, as natural, as flawless as it did when I first put it on in the morning. And that's awesome because how many times do you put on a beautiful face of makeup, go to wash it off at night, and your makeup has separated, it just looks very... I don't know, it looks very obvious that you've been wearing makeup. It just doesn't look as great when you go to take it off at night as it does when you first apply it in the morning. This foundation stayed on my face as it did when I first applied it seven or eight hours earlier. It just evens everything out. Again, it makes everything texture free and just soft. It's going to keep that oil and moisture at bay and your skin is gonna look so natural. I'm telling you, if you put this on, people are gonna ask you what you do to your skin because they're gonna think you're not wearing makeup. It just looks very, very, very soft and just really really pretty which is why I like it and again another drugstore find that is amazing so I had to throw this one in it doesn't clog pores it's definitely oil free and as it says on the back it's suitable for sensitive skin and it also claims to last all day and I can definitely attest to that this lasts so this next face product is a concealer and if you've been watching my channel for a while you already know what I'm gonna say and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love it, it's creamy, it blends out like a dream and it gives you that nice medium buildable coverage, not sheer. It also doesn't get crepey or crease under your eyes, it acts as a concealer. It's so comparable to the NARS creamy concealers that are twice if not triple the price. So I highly recommend getting the Maybelline Fit Me over the NARS just because if you're on a budget you can get a lot more for your money. So this next one is the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. Holds a curl, fans out your lashes, thickens them, gives them drama, length, everything you're looking for. Packaging looks like Too Faced Better Than Sex. 
The wand looks like Too Faced better than Sex. It has that nice hourglass pinched look to it. It does a great job of applying mascara not only to the upper lashes, but to the lower ones as well. It washes off really easily and it just holds a curl a lot longer than many of the other drugstore mascaras I have found. Let's talk a little bit about contouring. I have two products. I have a powder and then I have a cream. So for cream, I highly recommend the Jordana Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick. It looks like a little chubby crayon stick. This is, I believe, $4.99 or $3.99. It's definitely in that $4 range. I picked mine up at Walgreens. This is the most amazing creamy product. You just kind of swivel the bottom and then the product comes out like that. This to me seems comparable to the newly released KKW Beauty. I think almost $50 for two little sticks. I love the way this blends out. This works well under foundation, over foundation by itself, however you want to play with it. It does a great job of creating that contour to your cheekbones and it just blends out super creamy and easily and I just love this product. It's so affordable and I would highly recommend you checking this out. The brand again is Jordana. I found mine at Walgreens. It's a definite must have. So moving on to contour powder, I actually have a palette. This is from e.l.f. Full size mirror and four shades of powder. So in here you have a kind of highlighting, illuminating, under eye setting concealer powder, and then a banana shade of powder, and then two bronzers that you can either bronze or contour with. I tend to contour with this more kind of neutral taupe shade, and then the warmer one is the one I kind of bronze up with. I love these powders. They're very creamy, easy to blend, easy to work with. They definitely pack a punch. And if you have been watching my channel for a while, you will have seen a video in the past where I compare this to the Smashbox contour kit. That's probably three or four times the price of this. And this actually comes with one extra powder which I think is awesome and the mirror is even bigger. I love the packaging. It's very sleek, sturdy, easy to travel with, pack with, throw into your bag and I'm just very impressed because I have two colors to set my concealer with and two colors to contour and bronze with. Definitely worth it because you are getting four nicely sized products. Moving on to brows, I have found my absolute favorite skinny lining brow pencil from the drugstore. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. A dual ended brush just like the Anastasia. You have your spoolie brush and you have your pencil. The spoolie brush I don't think is quite as large as the one in the brow is. I feel like that one is a little bit better quality, but this guy gets the job done. And anyways, my top priority is the pencil, which is fantastic. This is 10 bucks. This works so well and it's $11 cheaper than the brow is and I think it does the same job. It's skinny so you can get right in there, shape, line, fill your brows, have them look fabulous and they have a nice waxy finish which is going to help adhere the product to your brows and to hold them in place all day long. It comes off easily at night when you want to wash your face and it's just a fantastic product overall for 10 bucks. I think it's definitely worth checking it out and you will be saving more than half the price tag of the Anastasia. Look no further than NYX because this one really impressed me. Moving on to the eyes, I have a primer that is amazing for glitter eyeshadow. I'm not a big huge fan of eyeshadow primers. I don't use them that much because I feel like concealer works just as well. But when it comes to glitter, you need that shadow to stay, to stick, and just last all day long. And NYX has one that's strictly for glitter shadows that is amazing. I believe this is $6.99. Fantastic product. It really does adhere any glitters to your eyes, whether it's loose or just pressed pigments, anything like that. And I'm just really impressed because it's very comparable to higher end brands that I've tried, like Too Faced. I think um, Urban Decay has one and this one blows both of them out of the water for less than a third of the price. So for shadow, I actually have two palettes and a single eyeshadow. For the single eyeshadow, it's brand new. This is from L'Oreal Paris and this is their Infallible Paints Metallics Single Shadows. I picked it up in Brass Knuckles. It was the one shade that just really, really stuck out to me. And in the pan, it might look kind of bland and boring and nothing really big deal but when you swatch this sucker it is so metallic so beautifully bronzed and it's fantastic all over the lid you can simply apply it with your finger and you are done it's a gorgeous gorgeous shadow unfortunately i think they only release four or five shades in total and they were colors i would never reach for like a silver and a pink and things like that but if they do release like a nice champagne color or a nice smoky kind of gray color. I would definitely snatch those up in a second. But this one in brass knuckles I highly recommend. If you're looking for a beautiful bronzy single shadow that's very metallicized, definitely check this guy out. I have two palettes. They're both from e.l.f. and these are the Mad for Matte and the Mad for Matte 2. I'm wearing both of these mixed onto my eyelids today. The Mad for Matte is a little bit more neutral. It goes from more transition-y kind of soft browns up to deep, dark, almost gray teal shades, which I really like this palette. It's amazing. The pigmentation is there. The color payoff is there, but they also blend out really, really nicely and they last pretty much most of the day with or without eyeshadow primer. I think it's a fantastic palette. This is $10. It's definitely, definitely worth the $10. I 
highly recommend this one. And then I believe last summer, or maybe it was even earlier this spring, I'm not sure, they released Mad For Matte 2. And this one has more of like that sunrise, summery kind of bright pops of color. I like this one as well because sometimes you want that orange or that pink or that purple, and these blend just as nicely and apply just as nicely as the original Mad For Matte. But this just has a little bit more splash of color if you are kind of wanting something out of the box and a little bit different than your basic neutrals. So I highly recommend this one as well. Moving on to highlight, I have two. The first one is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in number 100 Molten Gold. I'm wearing it today. I've mentioned this and I've reviewed this before on my channel. It's a beautiful metallic highlighter. Definitely, definitely is. It's a beautiful bright gold. It really highlights and just makes those cheekbones pop. It's just such a pretty, gorgeous highlight. You do get a lot of product when you pop your brush into here, so tap off any excess if you don't want too much, if you don't want it to be too intense. But other than that, I think it's a fabulous product. It's $9.99, definitely worth the $10. It can also be blended out and kind of subdued and made a little more subtle if that's what you're going for. But if you want the intensity, one swipe metallic. And then if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend that $10, Maybelline also has a single eyeshadow. They released earlier this year in their expert wear line. They look like this. And this one is called the Glow Down. And I believe this is a $3 eyeshadow. And it's pretty similar to the other one as you'll see in the swatch. This one I think is just a little bit more champagne and a little bit less yellow gold. The other one has a little bit more of that yellow to it, but they're both very metallicized and they will get even more intense if you add a little bit of setting spray onto your skin before applying them. Just a really gorgeous eyeshadow, but even better as a face highlight. I love it. And I actually topped the other highlight with this one today as well, just to kind of play with both of them. I really love this. And again, three bucks, a bargain in and of itself because you have an eyeshadow and a highlight. And now moving on to blush, I wanted to mention the e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Blushes. They look like this. They're little round pressed blushes. They're adorable. I think these are 2 or $3 as well. And this one in Sweet Retreat is such a pretty, nice little pinch and pop of a flush of color. I'm wearing it today. It's very natural, so it will complement a very smoky eye, a very natural makeup look. It's just a really pretty natural looking blush. I don't know how else to describe it other than that. It's really gorgeous. It pops on the color. The pigmentation is there the second you put it onto your skin, but it glides over the skin very gracefully, very softly, and it blends out. I reach for this all the time. This has been a holy grail favorite blush of mine for a really long time. If you've been following me on my channel for a while, you already know that, but I had to mention it again today. And then of course we can't end the video without some lip products. So I do have two for you. They're both from the same brand and the brand is Flower Beauty. You can find Flower Beauty online now and at Walmart. These, I think, are in that 7 or $8 range, and these are so amazing. These are called the Lip Radiance High Shine Lip Lacquers, and the best way for me to describe them to you is as if you took a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick, mixed them together, and created a brand new lip product, and that's what you get. You get a very thick gloss that is very even, very opaque on the lips. It's not patchy, and it definitely looks like the gloss because of the shine, the formulation, but it applies like a liquid lipstick, so it's really easy to work with, and they stay on your lips so long. I just really love these high shine lip lacquers. Give Peach a Chance, which is a nice, pretty peachy shade, and then the one I'm wearing today, Autumn Rose, which is a pretty mauve. This one in Autumn Rose, I feel like it's a little bit thicker. I feel like you get a little bit more color to your lips with it, so I like to wear it more when I have a more finished makeup look. But either way, I wear them with or without makeup. They're gorgeous, they give you that hydration, they feel really nice on the lips as well. So I thought I would mention these and share them with you guys because I don't hear that much about Flower Beauty. And I'm actually really, really impressed with these from the color payoff, the pigmentation, and the fact that they last all day. They don't dry out my lips, they're awesome. So that's it guys, that was my roundup of my must-have drugstore products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's nothing that excites me more than having money to spend at the drugstore, especially when there's new makeup released. I just get so excited. I always love to walk in and just see what's new. And every once in a while you have to kind of go through your collection and realize what is the best, what was worth my spending money at the drugstore. So I thought it'd be fun to film a video. Love watching videos like this, so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so I can see you guys in my next upload. And if you have any video requests, please let me know that below as well in the comment box, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys.